860 for 750, runway inside. Clear? Athens McMinn County Airport. Automated weather observation, one niner three zero Zulu. Wind zero seven zero at three knots. Visibility more than one zero. Sky condition broken at six hundred. Temperature six Celsius. Dew point six Celsius. Altimeter two niner niner four inches of mercury. All right, guys, we've got a fun flight today. The plan was to take the family in the 210 and depart for a weekend of Christmas fun in Nashville's Opryland Hotel. The day was forecast to be solid IFR, and with temps in the low 40s, I had all but resigned myself to making the drive to avoid icing. However, a morning spent checking the weather and pilot reports showed that a temperature inversion dominated the area. This meant that the temps were actually higher up above than they were on the ground, so no ice. At least not the altitudes I would be flying. We loaded the plane in cold misty weather and then picked up clearance. My airport is non-towered and out of radio range of the nearest towers, so I have to call in to receive clearance on the ground. It was the standard craft clearance with a hold for release as the controller cleared up some airspace for me to depart. Uh, yes, I'm calling about clearance for a flight plan uh, for November 732 Charlie Hotel. I'll be departing runway 02 at Mike Mike India, and I can be ready to go in uh, five minutes. All right, I've got us cleared to Bravo November Alpha. Asphalt climb maintains 6,000, frequency 123.9er, squawk 4145. McMahon County traffic, Centurion 732, Charlie Hotel, back taxing 02, McMahon County. Uh, one zero minutes is fine, 732, Charlie Hotel. All right, sounds good, thank you. McMahon County traffic, Centurion 732, Charlie Hotel, departing 02, McMahon County. in the clouds pretty quickly upon departing. One of my favorite parts about re-watching these flight vlogs is to see the look on the kids' faces as we enter the clouds. Much like me, it's their favorite part of flying and it's visible in their smiles. Charlie Hotel, 732 Charlie Hotel, uh, kind of broken but I can hear you. Number 732 Charlie Hotel, Roger, I-Dent, Knoxville, Perimeter 2992. 2992, I-Dent, 732 Charlie Hotel. Number 2 Charlie Hotel, radar contact, 3 miles northwest of McMahon Airport, spare to 3200. Altitude check, 732 Charlie Hotel. 2 Charlie Hotel, Roger, thanks. Normally on flights like these, I'll show some sped up footage to move the trip along. On this day, though, there just wasn't much to see. We were mostly in the clouds and very rarely between layers. Imagine flying inside a ping pong ball and you'll have an idea about flying in a cloud. One brief highlight was when the sun peeked through and we saw a rainbow. But other than that, it was ping pong ball the entire way. Okay, so... We are on a pretty solid IFR day today. We're a little bit between layers right now. On our way to Nashville. Should have a nice ILS approach down into Nashville. I've never landed there before. Uh, kind of a uh, little bit of a temperature inversion. So ice is not really an issue. It's hovering about 45 degrees right now. Got some light rain ahead of us. 
and uh, then we'll get set up to make our approach down into Nashville. Fun flight. I really like flying IFR. It's a, uh, a mental exercise. Really, really keeps you on your toes. Got to stay ahead of the airplane. So we use cruise flight to, uh, to take care of that. I've already loaded uh, the ILS approach for the runway they're using. Uh, Forefly has just changed the game with situational awareness. Uh, Japanese Center, Legion 2005, is that but, 11, uh, I've already up. reviewed the plate. We've got uh, our frequencies entered. We know uh, the where we're supposed to go. So now it's just uh, maintaining one step ahead of the airplane each each phase of flight. Number seven three two Charlie Tell, flighting three two zero vectors uh, final approach course. Three two zero for vectors to the approach seven three two Charlie Tell. All right, so they are navigating us around, set up for the ILS down into Nashville. Uh, there's a little bit of rain in Nashville. Uh, broken clouds at 600 feet. Overcast at 1400 was the last uh, last forecast, so not too too bad. Number 732 Charlie Hotel. Turn another 10 degrees to the left. Maintain 4000. 10 degrees left down to 4000. 732 Charlie Hotel. 732 Charlie Tell, contact approach 124.75. Approach 124.75, have a good one. Nashville approach, Centurion 732 Charlie Hotel, descending through 4,500 for four. November 732 Charlie Hotel, Nashville approach, thank you. Okay, so if we go missed, we climb straight out, 1,300, then make a climbing left turn to uh, 3,000, and we'll get B and A. On radial 072. Two Charlie Hotel, turn 10 degrees left, descend and maintain 2,000, keep your speed up. 10 to the left, descend, maintain 2,000, best speed, 732 Charlie Hotel. I decided to hand fly this approach. It's important to know how to both hand fly and use the autopilot, and it had been a while since I had hand flown an approach in actual instrument conditions. You'll also notice my daughter progressively dealing with worse and worse ear pain. This is something we were aware of. You may notice her chewing gum throughout to hopefully equalize the pressure in her ears. Normally I make very gradual descents in order to prevent pain, but in this case, Nashville was trying to get me down quickly to maintain spacing with commercial jets. As pilot in command, I knew I had to be laser focused on flying the airplane, but I've got to admit, it was quite difficult to go back and see her in such pain. We have since ordered special earplugs that are designed to gradually equalize pressure, but I'm open to solutions any of you may have. Let me know if there's something else that we can try. November 2, Charlie Hotel, turn left heading 230, intercept the 20 left book laser. 230 to intercept, 732 Charlie Hotel. 2 Charlie Hotel, 6 miles from Judd, maintain 2000, so that was on the book laser. Cleared ILS runway, 20 left approach. Maintain 2000 till established, cleared ILS, approach 20 left, 732 Charlie Hotel. November 2 Charlie Hotel, contact Tower 118.6, have a good day. Tower on 18.6, have a good one. Nashville Tower, Centurion 732 Charlie Hotel's Hotel, ILS 20 left. 732 Charlie Hotel, Nashville Tower on 20 left, clear to land, breaking out about 500 feet AGO. Clear to land, 20 left, 732 Charlie Hotel. All right, we go down to 750 feet. All right, 1700 for 750. 1160 for 750, runway inside.
Charlie Hotel, turn right, got that ground point on. Right, ground on point on. Have a good one. National ground, Centurion 732, Charlie Hotel, clearing 20 left. Centurion 732, Charlie Hotel, National Gun, where do you park? Head to signature. Centurion 2, Charlie Hotel, taxi Juliet, Tango 6, cross running 31. Juliet, Tango 6, cross 31, 732, Charlie Hotel. There's almost no better feeling in the world than breaking out of the clouds and having the runway be exactly where it should be. This was an extremely satisfying flight. From the weather planning to the actual hand flying to nearly minimums, so many things have to go well for a successful instrument flight. It's the ultimate trust in yourself, your equipment, and the men and women working in air traffic control. When it all works perfectly, it can turn even a one hour flight into magic. Once at Signature, we unloaded the airplane and caught an Uber to our hotel. Earaches notwithstanding, it was my definition of a perfect weekend. Thanks for watching and fly safe.